all right, so we're going to look at number 10, alternate interior or alternate exterior angles. If I look at D as the transversal, so that's this outline there, and using it as a transversal of A and as a transversal of B, so that's that line there. All right, now I'm looking at alternate exterior. So that I have, my angles are going to be eight and six. Whoops. Eight and six. Those are gonna be those two angles. So that you can visualize it. Eight and six. D is my transversal. D is the transversal. This is our transversal. Again, when we're just looking at whether or not they are alternate exterior or alternate interior, we don't have to, they don't have to have parallel line. It's just the definition of a transversal is a line intersecting two other lines. Those two other lines can intersect, which if we notice from this diagram, well, and a lot of these, those two other lines intersect as well, okay? All right, see you later. Hopefully that helped clear up some things.